Hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Old Man yeah, in the Land of Grills. Let's go over here. Yeah, we got the A Smoke AS300. This, uh, folks, this is uh, it's a portable pellet grill that has a lot of size going for it. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna use the A Smoke. I've got I, I've got a hankering. It's getting it's, it's almost Easter, and um, I'm getting a hankering from Polo Sausage. And uh, there's a company right here. I, I'm in the southeastern part of Wisconsin, and there's a famous uh, sausage maker right here. You may have heard of them called Clements, uh, and they've been in, in in making sausage in Milwaukee for over 100 years. And we're gonna put on a couple of polo sausage and do some smoked polo sausage. Yeah, on the pellet grill. Keep on watching. All right, like I said, there it is, uh, Clements, made right here in Wisconsin. Uh, I, I just like these. Uh, they're very, very good. If you have the opportunity to find Clements Fresh Polo Sausage, folks, uh, don't pass it up because it is. And, and to smoke it, oh, man, it, uh, it's delicious. So let's get them on the pellet grill. All right, folks, got our polo sausage on. We've got it set. This, this grill loves 225. It smokes really nice at 225. And that's what I got set at 225. Some people ask, is this a PID controller? It is not. But I've been shocked on how well this has worked. Now today it's upper 40s and it's it's working great. I've cooked at this in the 20s and it's it's worked uh, it's, it's worked no problem. And you can see, you know, talk about smoke on the pellet grill. Yeah, there's smoke on the pellet grill. Doing just fine. So um, one of the things, and I tell you what, let's get into a little bit more specifics uh, just in case you're interested in something like this. All right, so when it comes to these portable pellet grills like this, folks, in my opinion, one of the most important things is the height that you have of your lid and the size you've got there. Now, um, A Smoke has recognized that and they actually come up with an accessory, which is a bigger a bigger lid. And this is actually six and a half inches high. I've actually could get uh, a chicken in here, a whole chicken in here. You can get a, a nice size uh, pork roast in there. So you can get a pork butt in there. It's pretty impressive what you can get in there. And they actually put a little hinge lid there to help hold your your your, your hinge up. Uh, but that is probably one of the biggest things I see as an advantage here. Plus, some of the competition, what they're doing is they're rounding these corners way down here then going around like that. Whereas they, they smoked has recognized that it's all about space and smoke and uh, kept it as square as possible. So you have as much room on the inside as possible. I, I like that feature. I like that feature a lot. And, and this little pellet grill, as you can see, uh, smokes quite nicely. And like I said, 225, it just loves 225 and smokes very nicely at 225. All right, we'll give you a couple more look-sees as uh, we go on. I'll, you know, you can always ask your question down in the comment section. In fact, I'll, I'll remember to leave the link to the unboxing and first use down below. So if you want to know more about the A-Smoke, and obviously I'll leave the, uh, uh, the www.asmoke.com. Uh, I think it's asmokegrills.com. I'll leave the link down below, and uh, you folks can uh, go take a look for yourself. All right, folks, uh, been about 45 minutes. I did bump the temp up to 250. You can see we're uh, about 259. Uh, it's an after work cook, so I don't want this to take all night. So let's take a quick look. Oh, yeah, look at the nice color from the smoke. You can still see at 250, you get a little bit of smoke out of it. That's pretty impressive for this uh, little A smoke. Uh, and it's not little for, uh, it's a portable pellet grill that does a great job. All right, folks, two hours coming up on, and uh, we'll just give you one last look because these are, uh, oh, man, look at that. Look at the smoke coming off there at 250. The pull sausage is done, folks. Give you a look-see when it's time to eat. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. Mm. A little bit of Clement's pull sausage there. You can see it. I got some, mm. oh, man, relish and some, uh, Secret Stadium sauce on there. Take a quick taste test. Oh man. Ah. That's smoke ring. <laughs> Tom Hushman, YouTube. Thumbs up, leave a comment. As always, folks. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.